Hi everyone and welcome to the Scrap and Create YouTube channel. This is Christine and I am here to do the walkthrough of the finalized 8x8 album using Graphic 45's new Princess Collection. I have two uh, tutor actually three total tutorials for you below uh, that I will link you to in the description box of this video. The first tutorial is actually from my Flutter album and it's how to put the book and the base pages together because those two albums are the same size we can use that same tutorial for that part. part. Uh, and then part one of the princess tutorial will show you how to customize and um, make all the flaps, flips, pockets, and all that fun stuff. Um, for this album and then part two of the princess tutorial will show you how I decorated the album and uh, there were a few things of course that I didn't uh, do yet at the end of part two so now you get to see the whole entire album completely finished I used almost all of my 12 by 12 um, princess paper I did use all the patterns and solids I have a bunch of scraps left for when I complete all of my um, photo mats and I have most of my 8x8 left so I'm going to be doing a future project with what I have left. So here is the album completed. I'm going to bring it up to the camera. This is the cover. I actually used two uh, of these signature sheets from the cover and popped it. I cut it out twice and I popped the mom, the queen and princess up uh, the, the second time. So hopefully you guys can see there's a little bit of pop there and I put some foam tape behind it. Um, there's a beautiful chipboard element there that says once upon a time. I have a crown charm here. This beautiful filigree in the corner came from Julie and Daphne who are the owners of Scrap and Create. When you buy the bundle which includes the 12 by 12 paper, the patterns and solids, the 8 by 8 pack, the chipboard elements, the sticker sheets, and the pockets and tags. If you buy all of that from them, they really take good care of you. They add tons of extra goodies into your packet, including beautiful ribbons, which we'll get to as we go through this album, and charms, which we'll also get to as we get go through this album. So here um, I added a little key, uh, or a lock rather, with some brads here, and then this uh, castle charm I found at my Michaels. And then the flowers are just from my stash. So this is the front cover. This is the spine here. As you can see, I added some charms. This is a, just a Tim Holtz little dangler thing here. Um, and then I added some of these beautiful jewel charms, which I found at Michael's. This crown charm here is from Scrap and Create, as is this little heart charm here. And that came in the packet when you purchased the bundle. And then here's a key from my stash, which I thought went really cute with the little lock from the uh, cover of the album. Because the spine and cover are so busy I kept the um, the back of the book very very simple I just used some of my favorite paper from the collection from the back so it's very plain very simple all right so that is the uh, outside of the book this is a four page pocket page album and uh, the, and plus the inside front and the inside back covers so let's go ahead and kind of move in a little bit to the um, inside of the book. All right. So as we move inside, we're going to start with the inside front cover, which I kept very simple, and it's just a pocket here. So you can slip, it's a very generous pocket, so you can slip several different sizes of photo mats. I have all different sizes here um, in this pocket. You can fit tons of photos in this pocket here. It's very generous. There's a little chipboard element here that says believe, and I have added a couple brads from my stash there. And the gussets in between the pages, I did add some design paper. And now we're moving on to page number one. I'm going to zoom out just a tiny little bit just so we can get all of this in. Okay, so here is page number one. Here's the little flap. I just added some design paper to the back of the flap. This pocket will house, this is a four, and a, okay, it's kind of hard to explain. This is um, a four by six photograph here, okay? It fits perfectly on this uh, photo mat with a border around it. And then this sticker here, as you can see, is left open. And this will slide right into this pocket. Okay, does that make sense? So you can fit all different sizes. Here's four by four, here's three by four, and then a regular four by six photo mat without the design paper 
And so all of those, of course, will fit in this pocket here. Here is the back of that flap. We have a little booklet here that fans out like so. Let's see if I can get it all on camera. Okay, so it fans out like so. So you can fit four, again, you can fit four by six photographs without having to crop them at all. Of course, this, this photograph's the wrong orientation, but it would go right there and you'd have some black outline from the cardstock. Uh, go around it which makes a nice touch so this little booklet here here's another flap which is perfect for um, different size you could do a three by four and a four by four here this sticker down here at the bottom is open so you can um, you know get your get your photographs down in there you know however you would like to do it you can have a nice layout here of photos then when we when we close this we have this little uh, insert here which is just a little three by four um, ephemera card. This beautiful filigree up top here is from Scrap and Create. It came in my little packet and that just slides right behind this little um, photo mat here. And so when you close it, you can see the tippy top of it from the front. Okay, so let me just get that in straight. There we go. Now we move to the center of page one, and we have this beautiful um, paper here, which is some of my favorite from the collection. My idea was not to cover this and just enjoy the beautiful paper, but obviously if you wanted to put photographs down, you could put a ton on here. And then we open this, and we have another pocket here. Again, so photo mats of all sizes, including five by seven, which I didn't make any of that size, but they will fit in this large pocket here, as you can see. All right, and then um, we have over here in the center spread, another little flap, which just has some cream on the back for where you would put your photos, and then another huge space for photographs. This heart charm here is open, so you can slide your photographs in. So you could do something like this, you know? So you could have something like like that. Isn't that cute? And then you'd have a photo here as well, or journaling there. Photo, photo. Really cute spread. I didn't nail down any of my photo mats on the base pages because I'm just, uh, I haven't picked out my photos yet. But I made them because I wanted to show you, I made a few photo mats because I wanted to show you how you can get all the different, uh, different kinds of layouts. Um, from this album. This album will hold tons of photographs, even if you leave some of the paper blank. I mean, some of the paper uncovered. All right. Each pocket page, like I said, there are four, has a side pocket, as you can see here, and it has a little, it's actually a big, a very large tag. And again, you can fit all kinds of photos. I left this open here at the bottom. You can fit all kinds of photo sizes on this photo mat. I kept them pretty plain in terms of the pattern paper. I didn't use any, um, you know, large prints because these will be mostly covered with photographs. This little tab here was just made with a um, Stampin' Up! tag punch and then I added a little piece of chipboard from the collection to the center. All right. So here is page number two, which is very simple. It's just a side pocket. And this is my favorite size to put in these side pockets of photo mats. It, has, it can house the four by six, plus you have a little bit of room for some design paper as well. And that will fit beautifully inside this side pocket here, as you can see. Page three is really fun. So for page three, I did um, these two small envelopes and then we have these beautiful tags. Now these tags, you can get at Scrap and Create. They are the regular black tag albums. Um, and so you get, I think, 10 in a package. I use six in this album. And then I also use, which you can also get at Scrap and Create, this coordinating die. It's called the regular tie and you, regular tag die. And you also get a bonus die as well, which is pretty cool. But if you run this through your Big Shot with whatever pattern paper you like or whatever cutting machine you have, it will create this beautiful layer that will just fit right inside your tag so you have a really nice border around your design paper. And then a three by four photo will fit beautifully on this tag. 
this the cream is actually three by four and then you have a border around it with the black which you could leave off of course if you wanted this beautiful little charm here is from scrap and create it's another little crown and then um, the ribbon the beautiful gold ribbon is also from scrap and create it came in in the kit on the back I just have some paper from the patterns and solids and I also have some border stickers I'm sorry they're not stickers they're just from the borders and tags uh, cut apart sheet I left that open so you can slide your photo right down behind that so there's that tag I also slid in these pockets some of the actual pockets and tags from the collection itself this is a cute little envelope that just says once upon a time on the front and I just put a little tag inside you could do some journaling on the back or what have you so I just stuck that in that short pocket as well here's the other one here's another element from the pockets and tags collection the little insert says live the life you imagined and you can do journaling on the front of the pocket as well as the back of the little tag and then here's my other tag this beautiful rose charm is from scrap and create again as is the ribbon and then I list this is open so you can slide your photo right in behind that border as well. Okay, so that goes right back in there and that goes right back in there. Now we're still on page two. We have this flap that opens on the left hand side here. We have a beautiful little cut apart our ephemera rather from the collection. You can do some journaling on this and then on the back we have a place for a photo. And then this spread here, of course, you can do any number of photos. The sticker here at the bottom is open, so you can put any kind of spread of photos that you want on this flap. This is a sticker from the collection. I added just a couple little tiny uh, bows here on the sides that came from Scrap and Create. All right, on the... Um, left on the right now we're on the right flap still on page three we have uh, this little flap here just a room for a photo here we have this beautiful pocket area which again will house very generous size and it will house large photos it will even house a five by seven if you wish and then we open this up my idea was to leave this alone because it's just so pretty um, but then over here you have plenty of room. This sticker is open so you can slide photographs behind the sticker. And then of course these two um, flip up and out as well for photos. All right, so that was our busy page three. Again, here's the side pocket um, photo mat. Very large and generous. You can fit tons of photos on it. All right, on to page four, which is very simple. This was just our pocket and two flaps page. So here's one flap here, and then the second flap here, and then a very generous pocket, which again, you can fit all sizes. You can fit it going this way, you can fit it going uh, vertically. I mean, this is, these, these pockets are incredibly generous and you can really fit a lot in them. Those are magnetized down. Moving on to page five now, we have this beautiful ephemera piece from the collection. Open this up, just a place for a photograph. This spread here is also a place for a photograph. This butterfly from the chipboard and solids, I'm sorry, from the chipboard from the collection is also um, open. So you can slide your photographs behind there if you like. You can, and you can do any type of spread that you like on this flap here. We open this flap and we come over to the back of it and we have another similar spread where we can place as many uh, photos as we can fit and then of course there's a little flap up top here as well where we can fit a photo. Then we come to the center and we have another of these pocket designs. So pull this out. Again, this is just from the pocket and pockets and tags collection. It's just a little pocket and then a little tag that you can do some journaling on. I thought that was really sweet. Another tag, and again, I use that die to create the pretty um, designs. This is from the chipboard uh, collection. I just kind of punched a hole through it and made it a little charm. And this, of course, is open, so your photo can slide right behind the um, border strip there. So that goes right back in there, that goes in there. Here's the second tag. Again, um, oh, I showed you, I left this one in. This is a three by four size photo and see how it fits right behind that border there and fits very nicely on that tag. 
Here's what the other side of the tag looks like. Again, a three by four photo would fit beautifully right there on top. Let me show you, like so. Um, this is a sticker from the sticker sheet and I just punched a hole at the top and that and kind of used it like a charm. The ribbon is from Scrap and Create. Okay, so that is tag number two. And again, you can put photos on them, journaling, whatever you decide, but three by four photos fit perfectly on these tags. All right, so that is page number one, two, three, five. <laughs> All right, here's this pocket pages pull out, large photo mat there, okay. Now we're on the back, so we are on page six. I have a ribbon closure here. This beautiful ribbon is from Scrap and Create. It came in the little packet that they sent and it's beautiful. So let me untie this. This was a ribbon closure. These flaps open, okay? So you have two small flaps here. This one opens here for a place for a picture, and then you can fit three by four photos on these side flaps here. This sticker here is open, so you can kind of, you know, slide your photo underneath there if you like. You could also fit a three by three below that if you wanted. Um, in the center, you have this pocket with a nice flap up top for photographs. Very generous pocket. You can fit tons of uh, photos in there. And then over here, of course, the sticker is open at the bottom as well. Okay, so that is page six. Let me just tie that up really quick. And then we move on here to page seven. Again, my idea was to leave this alone. Same here. You could put you could put photos on these two fronts of these flaps if you wanted to. My idea for my book is just to leave it alone because I just want to enjoy that beautiful, gorgeous paper. But you could definitely fit even more photos if you wanted to. So let's move on now to page seven. This flips open. We have a nice spread here. This little card came from the cut aparts page, one of the cut aparts page from the collection, and I left it open so you can slide photos behind it. It says, "Where will your dreams take you?" And I really wanted to make that a focal point somewhere so I decided to just have it and I just glued it down on two sides so your photos can fit you could still even glue photos down and uh, and then slide some on top you know underneath there same with here this says once upon a time and it is also open and I just stuck a couple tags from the tags and pockets in the little front here because again I only glued it down on two sides so this flap opens and then you have these beautiful flips here for photos and then a whole spread here for photographs. Again, all of this is open so you can fit, you can actually fit four by six photos on this flap in the vertical and then any orientation or any size, even five by seven in the center spread there. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that up. Whoops, this actually goes first then that. And now finally we are on page eight, which is um, our last pocket page. Let me, oops, I forgot to pull out the side pocket. This is the side pocket um, photo mat, very large, lots of room. And then this is the last one where I did another little um, um, tag and pocket kind of layout here. The ribbon is from Scrap and Create. This is a sticker from the collection that I just punched a hole at the top. Again, left the um, the, 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 I'm sorry, the, the border here open so you can slide your photo right underneath. And then I stuck a couple tags in here as well from the Pockets and Tags collection. The beautiful green ribbon is also from Scrap and Create if I didn't say that already. So these are the tags here for this one. And of course you could take these tags out here and there's still room. You could glue a photo down, see what I mean? And then put your tags on top of it if you still wanted to add more photos. There's plenty of room in this book for photos. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick these back in. Oh, and by the way, this was a sticker from the collection, which I also just uh, punched a hole in the top and kind of made it like a charm. All right, and again, like I said, these are from the tags and pockets. And then finally, we are on the inside of the back cover. This beautiful filigree here is from Scrap and Create. I have a little chipboard element here. This is the little band. This is from the chipboard element. I added a couple brads. I added a sticker here. All my stickers, by the way, I did back on black cardstock. So this band opens downward, it's magnetized. And then this is a waterfall and we have room for four photographs um, if you just, if you keep the fronts plain. Okay, so there's 
for photographs there. And then you have a generous pocket where you can fit a bunch of four by six or smaller. Actually, you could probably even fit five by seven. This is a very deep pocket, uh, but they'd have to go horizontally, of course. So, but yeah, you could fit it like this. Um, no problem at all. Yep, that would fit a five by seven. I added a little strip of paper to cover up the little gussets in between the waterfalls. That's just some design paper from the patterns and solids. And then that stays all nice and tidy because that is magnetized there. Okay, and that's it. That is my princess album using the new Graphic 45 Princess Collection. I was so happy with how this came out. I really hope that you guys love this album and want to make it along with me. The tutorials, like I said, will be linked below. Um, again, here's the spine, the back, and then here's the cover with the gorgeous image from the signature sheet. I just love this paper collection. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this walkthrough. I hope that you enjoy the tutorials. If you have any questions at all, just go ahead and leave a comment, and uh, I would be happy to help you in any way that I can. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.